and welcome to our video about making backups. One thing I cannot stress enough is the value of a good backup. You never know when a disaster will strike. If you have a good backup, you will be up and running in no time, and if not, let's just say you will not be very happy. So creating a backup in ESC is not very tricky. All that needs to be done is go to the file pull-down menu and choose Backup Your Data. One thing to remember, though, is that no matter which machine you run the backup from, it is going to create the backup on the server. So if the path says C colon backslash, it is referring to the C drive on the server. I usually recommend doing the backups from the server if doing them manually. Now, after you figure out where you want the backup to be created, you have to choose if you want to append it to a previous backup file or to overwrite it. There is a checkbox here that says Overwrite Existing Backups. If you would like it to be the only backup on the file, you will check the box. Otherwise, leave it unchecked. If you're going to be backing up often, you might want to check this box periodically. Otherwise, your file will grow exponentially and use up your hard disk space. Once you figure out if you want to overwrite or append, the last thing to do is click on the backup button and start the process. Depending on how big the database is, this can take some time. You may see that in ESC it says not responding. Don't close it just wait it out. It will eventually finish. Once it is completed, if you go to the directory where you told ESC to create the backup, you should see a file in the name of your ESC database with an extension of .dat underscore bak. If you did create the backup onto a local hard disk on the server, I recommend moving it to an external drive or media. If that hard disk was to go down, that backup will be lost. Whatever you do, do not rename that file. This will prevent the file from restoring properly. Now that you know how to create a backup, let's learn how to restore it. The restore process is very simple. If you already have the existing database, if you are moving the database to a new server or doing disaster recovery and there is no existing database, please check out our Knowledge Base article on database migrations. If you have made changes in ESC that will take too long to undo, restoring a recently backup file could be a lifesaver. To do the restore, make sure everyone is out of ESC first. Then, just go to the file pull down menu and choose restore your data. Just like doing the backup, the path is referencing the server. If it says C colon backslash, it is pointing to the C drive on the server. Type in the correct directory and click on next. You will get the option of which backup you want to restore. If you have been appending backups, you should have some choices to choose from. The bottommost choice is the most recent, and then it goes up from there to the oldest. If you did an overwrite during the backup process, you will just have the one option. Either way, choose the instance to restore and click on Next. Lastly, you will get a warning about making sure everyone is out of ESC. Just double check to make sure that everyone is out and then click next to do the restore. While it is restoring, you may get the non-responding message from Windows for your ESC. Do not close or stop the backup from running. It may take some time depending on the size of the file. Once it is finished, you will be able to work in ESC again and you should notice that the changes from before the restore are gone. That's all there is to it. Now you know how to back up ESC.